Hey guys, Hugh McCorn here, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you some Warzone tricks that the top pro players use, and some that they, and some tricks that even they don't know of. This will help you a lot in Warzone, and this could also get you a Warzone win, just by doing one of these tips, because they're so useful, and if you're interested in Warzone videos or gaming content in general, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. The first trick is the silent door trick. Now, every time you go to open a door, obviously, it makes a loud noise everyone can hear it. Well, this trick allows you to open it silently. Now, it's all about the audio on this one because it doesn't make it so you can't see. Obviously, you'll, other people will see the door open if they're there. But the way you do this one is you hold to aim and then look at the door so you can peek. Then just walk into it. You don't press anything else. And this will make no noise at all. I think it only makes like a little click, but no one will hear that. Really, really useful. And it saved me so many times when I don't know if someone's actually in that room or in that building. I open it silently and it just helps you a lot, especially if you're with other people as well this can be really useful you just gotta remember to do it because sometimes you just slam into the door and obviously makes a load of noise when you open it but the second one actually helps with the first tip and that is the half steps tricks and if you don't know if someone's there this is more for the end game when you're like in a smaller circle but if you don't know someone's there you can use the first trick to open the door silently and take half a step because that actually makes your steps silent you won't hear any noise from it and no, no one else will and it's really really slow to do this that's the only problem and you got to do it slowly so it doesn't actually make any noise so i'd say number one you can use anywhere but number two i'd say that's more for the end game because obviously you want to get around faster but like i said really really useful a lot of pro streamers use this in the last circle so like no one knows where they're going what they're doing or even if they're there number three is the claymore trick and let's say you want to place down a claim obviously it's really easy to tell if they're there or not you can see the lines popping out the door. Now you'd think you have to go back a bit, but that's not actually the most useful thing to do because it gives a player somewhat of a chance to see it and they'll have to run quite far in to actually. So what you want to do is place it sideways, really close to the door, close as you can get. And that'll still trip wire the lines and set it off, but obviously they won't see it because it's going along the door instead of going into it and outwards. It doesn't have to be a door anywhere that's really good for a trap that a lot of people go through, but it might be open so you can do that sideways trick and obviously everyone goes into it. I'd say proximity mines are a lot better to use because it don't actually give any signal that it's there. But obviously you're not always going to get that so if you don't have any proximity mines and you have some claymores you want to place then you can do this trick obviously and then it will work. The fourth tip is if you're getting chased in the air you want to get away from someone. You always have a little boost when you set off your parachute. You have to be decently high in the air for this to work where you can quickly move around the building really really fast. As you can see in the gameplay it helps so much. And there's some weird glitch with it when you're going across like a surface, boosts you in the air, miles in the air. I've seen it happen and it's happened to me twice. And finally, the fifth one is the cancel throw. Now, if you've got a throwable and you accidentally set it off, obviously you think, oh, you've got to throw it now. But all you have to do is change your weapon and it will get rid of that grenade or whatever you've got in your hand that you want to throw and then it will actually cancel it so you don't have to throw it and it saves you a free throwable and also it saves your position as well because if you're in somewhere that's really open or it doesn't really matter if it's open or not save you a lot of noise and save you whatever you've got in your hands in the process a lot of people don't know this like even the pro players don't even know you can do this i don't know why it's really useful anyway as you can see let me know what you think down in the comments below let me know if these tips actually help you if you have any tricks of your own leave it down in the comments and I might mention it in a vid in the future and put your comment up. But yeah, time for the little news bit. Obviously, I've been away for a week. I didn't even know it was a week. Like, I streamed in between that. I wanted to upload more. I don't know why, how it was a week. It didn't feel like I felt like three days I was off. But I'm slowly getting back into the grind, very slowly. And I know you all enjoyed the Steam video I did pretty much two days ago, a day or two days ago. I might do a few more videos like that. There's a lot to cover on Steam and, like, the problems with it. And also a few other games that I want to touch on. But yeah, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed, let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, share, subscribe. See you in the next one. And peace.